Hi guys, it's Terry from Smooth Workshop here, post-Covid. No, we're still in Covid, but we're getting there. I did a, a video a couple of years ago, it's been really successful on the channel, and it was basically about making your own homebrew uh, airbrush cleaner for acrylic paints. Bear in mind it's for acrylics. Um, and it's had a really good response, and I've had a lot of questions fired at me. I've done nothing in the past year, just because of the pandemic and not really feeling it. Um, but I'm trying to get back into the model building again. <coughs> Excuse me for clearing my throat. So you'll probably be familiar with quite a few items I've got on the bench here. Um, I'm going to do a Smooth Workshop, Smooth Industries. It's a bit of a joke, basically trying to save you guys money. Uh, I revisited on the same subject. I'll try and be a bit more concise and answer some of the, uh, the questions that you guys have. Uh, put in the comment section uh, down below uh, the original video um, over the past couple of years. So I will revisit making um, the airbrush cleaner, but I'll be more brief because I've got to make some more because there's not much left and the main one that most of you were asking was what about thinners? I've got an empty bottle here um, a lot of you guys will use stuff like let's see if I've got some handy for acrylics the Tamiya X20A thinner um, and it's about making your own version of that um, there are a few items you will need, which I hope to put links to uh, below in the description section. Same as always, um, for the airbrush cleaner, I'll be using concentrated screen wash, but not for the um, thinners, obviously. I'll be using, wherever you can get it from, 99.9% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I will be using um, Windsor & Newton Flow Improver. Now some of these things can be an expensive outlay at first, but when you figure out how long they last, it's well worth it. Again, Windsor & Newton Retarder, Fluid Retarder. And good old fashioned H2O deionized or distilled water. So that will be the components that I'll be using with a pipette. And without any further ado, because a lot of people said the last time on my original video that why can't you just tell us what's in it without doing a whole half hour video. Yeah, I can do that, but... I'm going to make a video, I'm going to make it more precise and concise and up to date and include how to make your own thinners and I hope you find it useful. As always, I'm not a professional model maker. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the section down below, like and subscribe. Um, and just remember I'm not professional so try and keep your comments uh, constructive. So. We'll go on to the bench, shall we? See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Terry from Smooth Workshop. Right, I'm trying out my, my new phone here. Right, so, I've already done a video that a lot of you guys have found really useful about making your own Smooth Industries homemade airbrush cleaner. I need to make some more. There's not much left in it. So, I'm not going to fart about for too long like I did in the first one, because you've already seen that one, so little funnels are handy. So I've got a little funnel. All I'm going to do in this, there's about an eighth left in this. The good thing about airbrush cleaner is it's not really overly important on your ratios. But you want to save buying this stuff all the time so what i'm going to do i'm just going to quite simply put a little bit more ipa in there 
You okay? It doesn't matter if you make it too strong. Um, I'll go into uh, viewers' questions later. It doesn't matter if you make it too strong. If you make it too weak, it won't clean your airbrush. So what I've done there is I've put a whack of IPA in there. Now, the concentrated screen wash has a different type of alcohol in it and it has surfactants, etc. in it and it also has a nice blue dye. And that's the reason, mostly, that I use it. Um, if you can imagine all the crap that ends up on your windscreen, technical term, um, and it takes all the flies and stuff off, the surfactants and the alcohol that is involved in the screen wash does add a bonus, but the most of it is done by the IPA. Okay, so I've got it almost a nice blue colour. Now, one um, viewer did ask the question, he says, look, he says, because after this, I'm basically just topping this up with deionized or, depending on where you are in the world, uh, distilled water. Um, can I use already um, pre-mixed concentrated screen wash? Yes, you can. This stuff has no extra water in it. It's the same as, people have asked me about the IPA. I can buy 70%. That's fine. It's all going to clean your airbrush. The thing is, if you use concentrated stuff, you need to use less. So I'm going to take that off the bench because it's quite heavy. Um, if you're using 70% alcohol, my ratios on this is usually one third uh, IPA. Then I'll put in enough um, screen wash to colour it. Then I'll top it up with distilled or deionized water. If you're lucky enough to be in Scotland where we don't have hard water problems and you're not going to get lime scale and stuff, as a cleaner, tap water is fine in Scotland. But if it's not, get yourself, it's quite cheap, Halfords, etc. You know, buy a bottle of deionized or distilled water um, and top it up the rest, which is basically what I'm going to do with this. Okay, so that was basically what my first video was. Um, and this is for cleaning your airbrush. Now, please note, this is only for acrylic paints. Yeah? Not your, um, not your lacquer type paints. Okay, so i just topped up my bottle there. It wasn't quite finished. It's a bit of a lighter blue than it was before. Um, put my cap on. Give it a wee squish about. That's me got my airbrush cleaner. Now, that's a video that I did before. Um, for more stubborn stains, add more IPA. It's as simple as that. Really. And uh, the screen wash, as I say, does help because it's got surfactants in it. Obviously, if it can clear flies off your screen, it's going to clear crap out of your airbrush. Uh, and it's also got a slightly different alcohol to the isopropyl alcohol, um, which also helps. So, I don't think I need to revisit that anymore. I've topped up my bottle. That's done. Right. Okay, you guys have been asking about thinners. Now, everybody knows about the X28 thinner and stuff like that. Quite expensive though. Um, so I'm going to show you now how to make your own. Now, there are some expensive items that you will need. So, I'm going to give you a brief... Try to keep this as quick as possible. I'm going to give you a brief run through on what e I what each item does and to watch about not going over the top um, with some of the ingredients and I'm just making sure I've cleaned this off because I'm going no I'll use a different uh, I'll use a different funnel so it's not a problem right okay so what 
is in your standard this is tell me our x28 thinner right okay it's basically isopropyl alcohol deionized or distilled water in the same proportions as you would use in the cleaner but with a couple of added ingredients so it's the added ingredient that i need to spend a little bit more time on i'm just going to mop up the uh, the slight moisture on my bench excuse me a little second okay so again i'm not going to make this too long a video you've seen the first one we've covered that there's a full video about uh doing that we're going to go on to this one so people have asked me about containers what containers do you use well when I first started out in modelling, I was buying proprietary products, which were maybe seven, eight, nine pounds a bottle. Came in a nice bottle with a label on. All, all you need is a solvent safe bottle. There's loads of them on eBay. Um, so any solvent safe bottle, there's nothing major on here apart from it's recyclable. Um, but this is what I have previously had um, airbrush thinners in from another company. Uh, I used it. It was good. It was expensive. I've kept a bottle. So I'm now going to make my own Smoot Industries what? homemade thinners. Please note, you don't want to drink any of this stuff. Uh, work in a well ventilated area when you're doing it and it is highly flammable right so what are the other components to thinners well there's two the reason you thin your paint down to a milky consistency is to improve flow through the airbrush but in some countries that are a bit warmer you might find that the paint dries on the tip of the airbrush i've not got an airbrush handy to show you um and it clogs it up and you have to keep cleaning it all the time because the paint's basically drying as soon as it leaves the airbrush so what you would use for that is something called flow improver now flow improver stabilizes the paint and it helps self-leveling right but it also slows drying slightly um, this is because it's basically made up of glycerin. Uh, glycerin is a vegetable oil. It's a wee bit like soap. It's used in soaps and stuff like that. But it's 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 basically glycerin and other ingredients, uh, distilled water and bits and bobs. The main thing to watch on this is that if you're using a flow improver, you don't want to use more than ten percent flow improver to your actual paint okay so that's just a guideline now the stuff i use uh, i'll try and link you down below is windsor newton artist acrylic flow improver because i'm using acrylics now i think oh god i bought this a few years ago it's probably about say it's 10 pounds right and you think oh god 10 pounds you're only using milliliters of this stuff it's got 125 mil in it. I'm going to be using 5 mil of that. Work that out for yourself. So flow improver Im improves the flow of the paint through your airbrush. If you're in a particularly um, hot climate, you might want to up. This is a good thing about making your own rather than buying a standard. You buy X20A, you've got to use what they give you. You're in a hot country and find that it's drying on the tip. Put a little bit more flow improver in it. But it's a bit of, 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 of uh, trial and error. But that's what flow improver is. That will also be going into my concoction. Right, next one. Retarder. Again, I'm using Windsor Newton. Now, what does retarder do? Funnily enough, it's also glycerin-based. Now, retarder 
slows down the drying time. Now, you know, as I said with the flow improver, it also slows down the drying time. So when you're using both in combination, don't use too much. Pretty simply. Um, yeah, so the retarder, it slows down your drying time by up to 50%. Now, retarder's quite good, again, if you're in a hot country and you're spraying and it's going through the airbrush okay, but you're getting loads of tip drying and stuff like that, the retarder slows down the drying time of the paint up to 50%. But please note, right, don't use more than 25% of this stuff, right? To your paint ratio so if you're using 10 mil of paint you can't go more than 2.5 mil of retarder caveat if you're using retarder and flow improver you will need to drop this amount slightly because they're both glycerin based and you have different amounts of glycerin in them there's more glycerin in the retarder than there is in the flow improver. Hopefully that makes sense. So, I want to make my own homemade thinners. Again, this is all... I was going to pour that in there. Uh, this is all adjustable to suit your needs. So if you're in a warmer climate, you could maybe put a wee bit more flow improver in. If you're using a lot of the thick paints like the, the Citadel stuff, and you put 10 drops of, because you, you can use this up to 10%, this flow improver. If you're using 10 drops of Citadel paint and 10 drops of water, you can put one drop of flow improver straight into the cup. So this is where it's all, you, you can juggle all this stuff to suit yourself. But this is that, what I'm going to make here is a basic... Kind of covers most of the Tamiya and uh, Mr. Hobby type paints um, as far as thinners go. So, we're, it's exactly the same ratios. Oh, excuse me, just popping the cap off. Exactly the same ratios as we used with the... Um, oh. Please notice that this wasn't practiced or rehearsed. It's straight off the cuff. It's exactly the same ratios that we're using here as we did with the cleaner. I keep knocking that. We're going to be going on a ratio of one third, one third, uh, one third to two thirds. So one third. Um, see, I'm just cleaning all this up now because I've got. IPA everywhere. It's quite nice for the cutting mat though. Um, one third IPA to two thirds water plus additional ingredients. So let me just, I think I'll steady it this time. So I'm just judging a third. The reason I'm just judging a third is these things don't have to be measured to an exact perfection. If you find whilst using your current mix that you're still getting tip dry and stuff like that, you can tweak it. You can put slightly more flow improver in or slightly more retarder in. Um, you know, if, if it's drying before it hits your model and stuff like that. Um, so it's totally tweakable. This is basically a benchmark where you start off. So I've done, is that a third? Maybe not. I think I maybe need to put a tiny little bit more in. I'm not going to bother with the funnel this time. I'm just going to go, oh, I, might, I might turn my extractor on though because it's uh, a bit smelly. So if you hear the noise, that's actually more near the half. If you hear a noise, it's my extractor fan. And don't panic. Right. I can adjust this with the water. The alcohol helps dissolve the paint 
and helps it dry quicker. So I suppose the more alcohol you put in, you should really put a bit more retarder and stuff in, but yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to say that's over a third, but that's not going to be a problem. I can still tweak it. So I'm going to fill the rest it up with deionized. Might have to go and get some more out the tap because I'm in Scotland. <laughs> a lot of folk quite like that actually, they laughed at it. Um, deionized or distilled. Depends on what part of the world you're from and what they call it. I need to get some more, I'll be back in two seconds. I'm back. Right. You might hear me joking about, oh, tap in Scotland, the water's better. It is. We don't have hard water like they have down in London. I mean, uh, I visited a friend down in London. And you go into his bathroom and you've got the, the white lime scale around all the taps and stuff like that. In Scotland, we've got really soft water. But I cheat because I'm, I'm Scottish and I don't like dipping into my wallet. So I'll get that joke out of the way. Um, why use deionized? I'll just hold it up there. Deionized or distilled water. Water carries impurities. If you're using this stuff to thin your paint, any impurities, especially if you've got lime scale, will be carried into your paint and may... Um, damage your your overall paint finish. So all I've done there is basically eyeballed one third IPA, two thirds distilled water. Right. So this is the next bit. So I'm going to grab another pipette if I can find where I put them. Yeah. Okay. So with a fresh pipette that doesn't have screen wash in it. The standard to start with, with your flow improver, is a nice easy, now this is marked in millilitres, this pipette, and I'm going to go for five. Mm, what are we at? Not quite. I'll just take some out of that one. A bit over five. Now you can see how slowly that came up. That's a glycerin that's in there. Glycerin's quite a thick liquid. Right, I'm going to try again. Right, let's see if we can get five. That's near enough five. So, of the flow improver. In a standard pipette, I'm going to put 5 millilitres into my homemade thinners. And I'll just give that a wee squish, like that. Okay. So the idea of putting that into my thinners, my alcohol and water mix, is it will stop or alleviate tip dry on my airbrush and allow me to spray more easily. Now the retarder, especially if you're in a hot place. Right, I'm not going to be able to take anything out of there, so I'll take this cap off. The retarder gives it a bit more drying time. Giving, I'm moving more onto lacquers now, but if you're using acrylics, more drying time, especially if you're using a gloss, allows more time for the paint to self-level. So say you're painting a, a red car, but you're using acrylic gloss like Tamiya. Oh, let's say there's there's a red. Say, say you're spraying a Ferrari and you decide to do it with X7, but you want it to, sorry if I'm knocking the camera, and you want it to self-level a bit more, you have to increase the drying time. That allows the paint to flow over the surface. And you do this with retarder. Again, don't go over 25%. And it's quite as simple as it. We're going to put another 5mm. If I can get it to work. Are we at 5mm or thereabouts? Because it's all glycerin based. Yep, there's 5mm. So I've actually added 
two glycerin based products in there so you do have to be wary about how much of each you put in but once combined it should flow from the airbrush nicely it shouldn't dry on the tip as much it won't stop tip dry I mean your, your X20A doesn't stop it um, and once it goes onto the model it should slow down the, the paint drying process enough now note I've only put 5mm in right you can go on a higher percent depending on your climate of what you're trying to achieve and then you just go and that's your thing that's made so that's your brush cleaner that's your thinners. The expensive items there, if you've already made your thinners, is your flow improver and your retarder. There are videos on the YouTubes that will show you how to make these out of glycerin, water, etc. But for the faff, I think they were about eight or ten pounds a bottle. You know, it's up to you. How much do you want to save? So from Smooth Industries. This is a revamp, and I'm sorry for those that have got ADHD and that, the labels are not the same height. We've got airbrush cleaner and thinners. They're basically all made from IPA, deionizer distilled water. The only difference is with the thinners, we're adding some retarder and flow improver. Now, hopefully this video isn't too long. I hope you find it a useful addition to my original video. Uh, I think I've answered the questions, where do I get the bottles from? I keep old ones that I've bought previously. Um, what was the other stuff? Right, can you, can you use a lower percentage of IPA? I use 99. Just remember, if you buy anything less than 99, say 70... All you're doing is buying 70% IPA, 30% distilled water. Okay, so adjust your mixture to suit. And the same with... Oh, what did somebody else ask me the IPA? The screen wash. It's just a colourant. It has a different type of alcohol, so it's a different type of cleaning. Um, and it has surfactants in it. Obviously, if you use concentrated, you're going to get more surfactants and more of the alcohol that's in the screen wash. But if you buy pre-mixed and you're worried about, you know, do you want to buy... There was actually a specific question today. My water's rubbish. It's obviously down south. Do I need to buy the deionized water? I'm going to buy some screen wash that's pre-mixed. You'll probably find that the screen wash is pre mixed around about 50%. You might not need to put any water in it and just top it up with screen wash. At the end of the day, it's not a critical thing. It just needs to clean your airbrush. The thinners is a bit more critical because you're using that to apply your paint. But it can be adjusted. And that's basically what I was trying to describe with a, what retarder does, what flow improver does. Hopefully it's not too long-winded. Um, hope everybody's keeping well. I've been struggling with all this COVID and the lockdown and everything. Look after yourselves. Enjoy your hobby. Uh, feel free to comment in the section down below. Make it constructive. Um, I'll try and put some links in for you guys that are in the UK and want to use uh, Amazon. Uh, I'll get a tiny little cut off it. Um, and feel free, do feel free to subscribe to my Patreon channel. I don't have any user exclusive videos on it as yet, but I might do when I get on to Electrox and some stuff. Look after yourselves, guys. Happy modelling.